I'm Pauline Hegler. I'm the executive director and founder of Golden Opportunities for Independence. We are community-based. We bring the individuals into us. We focus on people within 25 miles from us. We're looking to find people who are in need match them up with people who want to volunteer, who want to help out, that are willing to give a little bit in order to help somebody's day be a little bit brighter. A therapy dog is invited sometimes into places and it's really just for soothing people. A therapy dog is more just for a community and goes to hospitals, goes to schools and things like that. When I came to Wayland, I realized how important an animal assisted intervention is in a school and actually how helpful it could be in helping kids maintain a school day. It's really cool. It's amazing to watch. Um, it's amazing to watch kids. It's amazing to watch them in the moment be vulnerable and authentically in that and then move forward with whatever they're dealing with. Um, so even if it's just like coming through guidance and like, just giving her a little pat on the head and her like looking at them, they like can readjust. I hope you've been a good girl, Ricky. For the past three, almost three years, Bear and I have been working together. Bear is my community resource golden retriever. We get to see kids when they're home with their families or having trouble or if they leave school and we track them down. We've had canines in the past, but he is the first canine of his type. Usually they're German Shepherds, not Golden Retrievers. They're, he's not what people expect to get out of a police car. We're not trying to force kids to talk to us. And healthcare is very difficult. We're not really up to par with our mental health awareness on how to deal with people with mental health issues. Um, and so to have a dog that knows nothing but is capable of so much more is really, really rewarding to have him be able to walk in, sit down next to a person, and then just have that person purge. So I'm particularly thinking about one student that came in and they had just lost a grandparent and they just sat with Ricky and cried. And she did the same. She just kind of snuggled right up. They were literally on the floor. Um, the girl just kept talking about the grandparent and how wonderful they were and I can't believe this happened. So we were both in tears and Ricky was just kind of loving it and licking tears off of her face. Um, it was very beautiful. The hardest conversation I ever had to do was we had a fifth grader who passed away and we had to tell the fifth graders that their classmate had passed away. So they asked me to come with Bear and just to see the kids emotions and for me not to break down as a parent just to see how he just kind of went right to them they just cuddled him and just was there for them and he walked right up to them I didn't have to tell him to do it and it was that's when I was like he's magic we attended the um, vaccination clinic for the children that are 5 to 12 we were able to get children who were kicking and screaming and not allowing anybody to touch them to bury their head in the dog's back and allow the nurse to come and give him a shot. So I came from India in my sophomore year. Having Ricky was so helpful, honestly. Like in the beginning, I was so scared because I didn't know anyone and also the language barrier that I was facing. Uh, like it was so hard, but having Ricky on school was really good. Ricky's a very hard working member of the guidance department. Whenever I was sad, like whenever I felt like this is not worth it for me, I would just go to Ricky, I would play with him, I mean with her, and it would be so nice. Like, she, she would make my day. I thought my high school experience is gonna be like me being a shy girl, like I'm kind of more on introvert side, so I wouldn't talk to anyone. But having Ricky, it made me like open up with people. Like all, all high schoolers like love dogs and they usually like come up to Ricky to play with. And whenever I go there, 
always someone playing and I would like play with him or her and that's how I made friends through Rookie. I mean overall I think um, promoting animal assisted interventions in school settings is something I like really believe in. Um, I think with the right community you can really make it happen and see some really great overall things for your whole community. I know a lot of departments have just gotten the dogs just for their department, never mind the community. They might have one for the community and one for the department. So it's mental health is on the forefront for everyone right now. So that's been the drive with him. It's paid in dividends just to see what the dogs can do. Um, they just bring a smile on people's face at a horrible time or just a really bad day. I would definitely recommend all the schools to have a dog. It's gonna like it's gonna have a positive impact as long as they are trained dogs, because uh, whenever you have a dog, you're gonna have a happy face. Like it's gonna if you just play with that dog for a few minutes, it's gonna remove like all your worries. You're gonna forget all your anxiety and stuff. So I mean, it's a positive impact as far as I see it. We really need to train these dogs and do it right. We can't just take a dog. Um, you know, who's a good dog and put him into this situation. A dog really is a complex being. There is a lot to dogs and really taking that into consideration with training them and it's really important to get them as trained as possible. Everybody knows a goofy dog from some way or another and they can kind of relate back to that. In the past two and a half years have been just incredible for, for our students, for our families. Um, and if there is a dog involved in the student's life at school, it just makes a really big difference. It's just bottom line, you can just see it. Um, kids open up, kids smile more. Um, the amount of you know, anxiety and depression and suicidality has just risen incredibly. Um, and that's not because they come in and talk about it more, it's because of the pandemic, it's because that's how our, our adolescents are right now, and it's very scary. So I think that if there were um, animals, dogs, in different places, I think there would be more people that would be able to share um, everything that's going on for them, for their, for their families. So what I hope to do is just go and make people happy with Ricky. I mean, she's just an amazing being, and she's got all the training she needed from Gofi, and that's what people need in the world, is really just to smile with a dog. It's unconditional love, constantly. So how could it be bad?